we were not settling for good enough anymore. We had so much fun exploring Brooklyn. I'm going to rearrange my office. Oh my gosh. This just happened. I just filmed an apartment tour. I know that when I'm working on something that I'm really, really, really passionate about, that's when I'm gonna be the most motivated. with lymphatic drainage, this cold roller, and I have a ton of conditioner in my hair. A little deep condition Saturday morning routine. Mm. I had so much water this morning. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, I'm officially starting this vlog here with my plant protein shake. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's Saturday morning and I read this book on the plane on Thursday called Deep Work by Cal Newport. I'd actually gotten it and started it back when I was starting, um, if you see the vlog on self-sabotage, I'll link it up here. I had started to read it that week, but the whole thing was about like focus, success, and a distracted world. And while I was reading through it, there were a lot of really good tidbits around getting into the flow and going into really deep work in the sense of literally like four hour chunks of really devoted work on something. And I kept thinking as I was reading through it, like, well, that's really easy if you know what you're working on. Like if I was working on a book right now or back when I was working on my honors thesis in college, but I don't really have anything like that right now. Like, you know, I do client work, I do programming, but like those things don't take me that long. And it just made me realize that on the things that I really care about, such as creating video content, primarily via TikTok and Instagram Reels, it's like I create the same content and post it on both. Um, you guys too, love y'all too, but like short form content that's like inspirational or it's about the universe, like that's what I love to do more than anything. And I just realized like I'm doing the bare minimum with it. Like I'm being very shallow. It's like shallow work versus deep work. Um, I film on my phone, I just stitch it together, and I get that the nature of short form content nowadays is really something that you like pick up your phone and you do it really quickly. But if I wanna be great, I need to take it a step further. So all day yesterday, I was filming for a brand activation and I decided I'm gonna use my really nice camera for it rather than filming the TikToks for them on my phone. I used my really nice microphone, which I'm not using right now, I'm sorry, because I can't see myself when I use the microphone. Um, I got this when I did my NBC segment, which I filmed by myself, and this makes it sound really, really good. And I'm just going to amp up the content. Like, I was even noticing I do these skits where I'm wearing the same outfit in both frame even though I'm pretending to be the angel guy and then I'm pretending to be myself or like the character of the beginner. And people get it and they follow it, but it could just be done so much better. And in today's very content saturated world, it's very hard to capture someone's attention for long enough, even if it's really good content. And I love my creative flow. And I think for a while I was just getting stuck in, well, that doesn't directly translate into sales or making money. Okay, not necessarily, but it does translate to my dream. And even just being in the flow of creativity and filming and coming up with ideas, I've been like writing entire scripts in here of like cute little videos I could do. Like that's been really fun. And from an energetic perspective, that's the sweet spot. Like you have to be doing things that get you into that flow. We hear time and time again, like humans are happiest when they're making progress towards something. They're happiest when they're in the flow. Anyways, this vlog's theme, to, after all of that giant preamble, is about deep work. I'm gonna be doing deep work this entire week. And for me, that really does mean filming, like getting into the flow with, with a script that I'm writing for different um, TikToks and then showing up differently and even how I'm filming and editing, like actually throwing myself into the process and not settling for good enough anymore. Like it reminds me, actually this is another book by Cal Newport. I haven't read it yet, but I love this quote. Be so good they can't ignore you. Be so good they can't ignore you. That's so good. You know, there's one element of, I know that I can just show up in front of a camera on TikTok and film something really quickly and it can be really good. I mean, I'm like a motivational speaker. I channel this stuff all the time. Like I know that this is what I was born to do, but imagine if I amped it up a notch, like for my happiness, for, 
the success of the videos, the success of my career and my dreams. Um, but also just something cool to test out for the sake of the vlog. So, I don't know how exactly I'm going to film this this week. I think it's going to be more of like updating you guys and showing you behind the scenes. Because the whole nature of deep work is that you can't move your attention onto anything else. So, like setting up certain vlogging frames might be a little bit challenging. But I'm going to do my best and I'm going to explore what it means to settle into truly deep work. Specifically with my filming and the hopes that it will inspire you to do deep work of your own on whatever your dream is And again, just remember even if you don't fully see how it translates to like the fruits of your labor It's not like a oh if I write this many articles I make this much money or if I write this many pages of my dissertation Then that will get me this much closer to my PhD Like it can be with things that you really love to do that don't have an immediate payout but you know that like eventually it's gonna get you somewhere, right? Like all great art was kind of just created to create because you're compelled by the art. With that, I have a really good video idea for today. I even filmed a clip in the shower, which was wild. And so I'm gonna finish getting ready and finish up that video before going to brunch with Brady. Yay! fun she picked me up like right when I was finishing editing the video that I worked on all morning I definitely did deep work I'll say that it felt like I put in a ton a ton a ton of effort on all these different outfit changes and I don't really know if that was necessary like does does that necessitate deep work or not not sure but definitely check out the reel that I made and let me know it was the one about like when you're waiting to hear about that email I think towards the end I got kind of rushed because she was coming to pick me up and I had spent so much time on it and I honestly should have just like slowed down. I edited it tonight because I think I edited it edited it. Why is that such a hard word to say? Edited it <laughs> in a way that like wasn't choppy enough like there was room for improvement for sure but the real mark of this is how much I enjoyed it, which matters. Anyways, it is like 6 p.m. and I think I'm gonna watch <laughs> New Moon in the Twilight series. I'm washing my face. I'm just in the mood for like a really chill night in. Um, we had so much fun exploring Brooklyn, but I wanna watch the Twilight series because Rachel and I ended up watching Twilight the other night, a few nights ago. And I hadn't watched Twilight in so long, and I loved Twilight when I was growing up. I don't know if you guys were into Twilight or Harry Potter. I was never really into Harry Potter, but Twilight for sure. And so I just forgot how much I loved the movies. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I think I should watch all of them, <laughs> but just New Moon tonight, of course. So washing my face, putting on some nice lotion, gonna finish my gallon of water, and probably go to sleep early because that is just honestly sounding really nice to me. Woo! Raging that New York City, baby. Something the book said that I think I'm gonna do tomorrow is go for a walk and take my phone but have it on do not disturb and not be listening to music or podcast. You guys know usually when I do my walk by the water, I am listening to music, I'm like texting friends, I'm voice memoing on Kita, but the book said that if you just walk and just see what comes to you, then that in itself is a form of deep work. So I think I'll start the morning like that tomorrow and see if I channel any like really good content ideas because I'm kind of feeling low on ideas which stresses me out a little bit but I know like it always just comes like I'll be out of ideas for a little bit and then I'll take a shower and I'll come up with three ideas in the course over the course of the shower so okay let's watch a movie let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to like than being pretty honey let's just face it you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like You can't do better, so much better in general to capitalize on the plan I've had these last few weeks of rearranging everything. I'm going to rearrange my office. My office is like a huge mess. I'll show you in a second. 
um, and I'm also not loving the space and it's really hard to like do good work if you don't love the space I mean I liked how I rearranged it before but you know a new fresh wave of energy is always good okay so let me show you what we currently have going on okay so obviously everything is pretty messy but here's how it currently stands dry erase board over here I can't really do anything about that it's mounted to the wall I also can't do anything about this mirror because it's mounted to the wall but desk <laughs> okay chaos desk file cabinet and then I had put this couch up against the closet but I don't know I think I'm gonna just like play around with some things I kind of have a vision let's see what happens this is always like an issue <laughs> the ring light maybe if I just make it stand up tall I can put it off in a corner somewhere or maybe also the closet will work once I can access it because in hindsight it was not that good of an idea to cover the closet with a couch. Like, what was I thinking? Let's just stick this right over here for now. Okay, so the vision is kind of to bring my desk. Apparently the best thing about a desk is um, the way it should be in a room, feng shui style, is to make sure it's facing the door. So I'm actually going to wiggle the desk on over to over here. As always, and as of last time, this is experimental, so I can change it back at any time. I also feel like getting a new desk eventually might be the move. I like having a standing desk, but there's some really cute desks on like anthropology that I've seen that could just introduce a new vibe for the space. And then also having this up against the dry erase board might be good because I can see it up close. Like sometimes it's hard to see from over here what I'm working with on the screen when I'm or on the screen, on the board, when I'm recording a podcast. Here. Um, update this just happened so that was sad however I could not get it to plug in in the first place so maybe good riddance still sad though okay wow that was a lot but I think it's ready so the grand reveal and yay I love how the blue goes up against the blue you wouldn't think this color combo works but I like it and yeah I moved the desk over so I could write down like today's to do's I have my dry erase board there this is the angle from over here. And since I filmed so much on this couch, I feel like the lighting is really good to just prop up the camera here and then obviously have it from afar, but just have this in the background, a little blue, a little like mirror. Obviously you wouldn't really be able to see like my bun. So I think it's good. I think it's perfect to work with. Okay, I just did a get ready with me TikTok and about to do this Sunday evening oracle reading. I'm excited because they're always so fun. With Dream Away, I always like to do them at my dining room table for some reason. It's just a good place. I did my own this morning as I vlogged. And also since tonight is the new moon in Leo, or this morning was the new moon in Leo, we are gonna do a little intention setting ceremony. So this should be fun. morning I was just working on my newsletter and the Dreamaway community is going to start doing the 21 days of abundance meditation series by Deepak Chopra it's free on YouTube I've heard really good things about it but I've always been like man like 15 minutes of meditation every single day for 21 days that definitely requires a commitment and so I think it'll be good for all of us to do it together so yep today is day one I'm about to head into the meditation so I'm vlogging about it to hold myself accountable <laughs> Perfect 
meditation spot. Hello friends. Okay, I just got back from getting my eyelashes done. I feel so much better because they looked so um, weak before. Like they were really at the end of their rope. And I am going to just make some pancakes and bacon. It sounds like a really good dinner. It's been such a productive day. I have a really good idea for a TikTok and I need to film it at night because it's a friend video. So, you know, like it's a skit and I need to pretend I'm waking up in the middle of the night. So y'all know I've been doing the most on my deep work. And part of that has just been like being more detail oriented. Um, for example, this morning I did a TikTok slash reel where it was like a voiceover and it was something that I had written and then like rewritten several times to make perfect. And then even how I was recording it and like matching up the music with it and the timing of the music, I just put in way more detail attention to detail and um like emphasis on it than ever before and i really think it it pays off my mistake again the other day was like spending all those hours on actually filming and getting like really high quality clips for that one tiktok and then i rushed and posting it when, when i should have edited it to be like shorter and i should have thought more about like the tagline or the title on the front of the video to capture more attention and i just rushed into it so no more of that i'm not rushing anyways very excited for my little pancake situation situation this evening. Let's cook. I'm also putting bacon in the air fryer, which is like so good. The best way to do bacon, except for in the oven, as I taught you guys on the last vlog when I was making bacon at Rachel's house. Yeah, you just pop it in for like 10 minutes. You kind of eyeball it, but I do it at 400 degrees and you would not believe how crispy it turns out. I'll show you, but I wish I could like transport the taste to your mouth. <laughs> Let's come over and check on you. Oh no. No, not again. Oh no. Please come back. All right. <laughs> Hello friends, happy Wednesday. I have been up and at it, having this La Cologne cold brew. This stuff is no joke. I'm very excited because today I'm having someone come and literally deep clean every square inch of my apartment and organize everything. So I need to be out of the apartment all day. Apparently it's like an eight hour ordeal, but I'm very ready for that because I want to film like an apartment tour tomorrow. I still have not done that in this space, which is really crazy now that I feel like everything's been done and moved in and organized the way that I want it to, or at least like rearranged the way that I want it to. And I also just feel like there's a lot of new energy coming in for fall and after the 8-8 portal on Sunday and having like a very organized space is gonna be a major for me. Um, I'm not the most organized person. I have many strengths, but one of my weaknesses is definitely um, being like organized. Like I can, I can clean up really well. You guys know I do like a lot of like reset vlogs where I am cleaning and I'm cleaning up my space. Obviously I love my space, but like a good deep clean will be the ultimate reset. So I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna probably go to a coffee shop today and work or just some co-working space and get some really good deep work done. It's the perfect time for that. It's not gonna be like something on camera this time. I think I might start like writing a little something something or yeah, just get on to some client work. So let's have a good day. home I've been home for a while my place is so clean can you believe the level is sparkling I'm definitely gonna film an apartment tour tomorrow finally it feels really good I got home um, from I ended up going to Ludlow house today with my friend Liv um, my friend Jules came as well it was really good I definitely got some work done I didn't really get into a deep work space but when I got home I had a late night coaching call and then I just spent an hour working on the perfect little poem or like writing script for a reel and then i literally did it's like my eyes feel like they're buzzing from the work that i did on this reel and i'm really really proud of it like i was such a perfectionist with it it's usually not like me but 
it was true deep work it was only like an hour but still so yeah now i'm just enjoying the clean space like i've never seen it so sparkling in here i'm also going to show you what um it looks like in my bedroom because i'm like how am i going to sleep in this bed when it looks this perfect i really don't want to mess it up are you ready da, 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 da. there's a heart on the bed that is the cutest thing i've ever seen they also did some of the laundry which was super nice and yeah it's just very very clean down to even like the rug so i'm loving it in here the bathroom also looks sparkling clean they organized all of the like this looks so good this did not look like this before that's all i have to say <laughs> It's like actually sparkling clean. The closet also looks really clean. Very clean, very organized. We love it. Even the shoes. The shoes have never looked so perfect ever. It's truly amazing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go off to sleepy sleep. Okay, you know that my brain is broken. I literally lost my train of thought. I think I was just gonna show you that it was clean and say I was going to sleep. It's okay, I'm just gonna end this here because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> just filmed an apartment tour which I'm really excited about and I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because there was so much going on in this one what I'll say is that my major takeaway from deep work has been just how much the work has to be something that pulls and motivates and, and passions you because for example yesterday you know I was out of the apartment all day and I wasn't filming and it was really hard for me to get into a deep work space simply because I know that when I'm working on something that I'm really 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 passionate about that's when I'm gonna be the most motivated. Um, when I got home last night and I spent an hour working on the TikTok that I posted, like writing it and then adding it together with the videos and the overlay and choosing the music, I found the flow again. So I actually think I would argue for you find the flow when it's something that you really love and enjoy doing, as opposed to doing, I mean, given I was doing a lot of superficial tasks, like getting back to emails, like taking care of miscellaneous things, but you know in your soul what you wanna find the flow in. And I honestly think that that is what makes it so rewarding. You know, now that I'm putting in a lot of extra effort into my videos, by filming them on the nice camera, which obviously takes way more time to edit, to set up the frame, to do all of that. I've really found that the joy in that for me comes from the fact that I'm so excited about the end result. I'm having so much fun while I'm doing it. And so the extra work doesn't matter so much. Um, it's easier to put your phone away when you are truly absorbed with what it is that you're doing. Because if you care more about your passion than what could be going on that would distract you, of course you're gonna get into the flow faster. So as you're proceeding with your deep work, I think it's completely worth it to put in all that extra effort, but make sure it's for the thing that you really love. So if your job isn't something that you love, find Find deep work and getting into that flow with something you've always wanted to do like a hobby on the side because I've also found that it's in those moments of flow and that deep work that I feel my best and I know that that is attracting the right energetic circumstances for the manifestations that I'm still working on so another really fun vlog thanks for spending the week with me in New York City and I can't wait to see y'all next week Bye.